Hi everyone, I'm Lolly, the Editorial Assistant at Professional Beauty. Um, welcome back to episode four of PB London Talks. We'll shortly be joined by Kirsty Mawine, who is going to be talking to us about sustainability within salons and also giving you a little bit of a sneak peek to what we'll have on the organic and natural stage at PB London this year. Don't forget registrations are now open. If you head to our website, you can register for free for the event on April 3rd and 4th. So Kirsty will shortly be joining us. We can talk a little bit about how you can make your salon more sustainable, why it's so important to have sustainability as an element in your business as well. So we'll just wait for Kirsty. Uh, Kirsty now, hopefully she won't take too long to join and we look forward to seeing you all at PB London in April. Um, I'll just try and add her in now. Hopefully Kirsty will be able to join shortly. Um, so at PB London, we've got a lot of new um, elements this year, new for 2022, including the organic and natural stage where we'll be covering topics such as sustainability, choosing organic and natural products to use in your spa or salon as well. And Kirsty will be able to tell us a little bit more about the stage and who will be giving talks over the two day event. Um, I think that's Kirsty trying to join now. Um, here she is, Kirsty's just joined the live and hopefully she'll be able to join me and go live with me in a second. To tell you all a little bit about how you can make your salon a bit more sustainable. Sorry, I think we're just having a bit of trouble connecting. If you could bear with me for one second. And Kirsty should be able to join. Sorry, I think we're just having some technical difficulties with Kirsty joining. And I think there we go. So hopefully now she should be able to join. I think I'm sorry, just technical difficulties at the moment. Hopefully Kirsty should be joining us. Now she should join. Hi. Oh, getting a little Hi. bit of feedback there, I'm not sure. Hi, how are you? I'm here. Hi. Hi, how are you? I don't know if you guys can hear me. Um, I'm Kirsty from Skin Inside. Nice to see you all. Hi, Lily. Can you hear me okay? Sorry, I think we're having a bit of difficulty with the Wi Fi. Don't worry, I'm here. I'm sorry. It's, I was trying to come in on three different handsets. <laughs> oh, no, no. Don't worry. So, yeah, we're going to talk a little bit about sustainability and why do you think sustainability is such an important element of running a beauty business? Well, um, Loli, you're talking to somebody who is obsessed at the moment with this subject. Um, so, you know, I, I'm, it's really close to my heart. But one of the things um, I want to do is just share some interesting stats with everybody. Um, so more than half of consumers, so it's clearly not just 
just me, <laughs> um, are prioritizing um, buying eco-friendly, cruelty-free um, hair care brands. But brands actually um, are missing out because they have some unclear um, understandings from what they should be doing. Um, and this is actually from a study um, by Wella um, about their professional business. Um, also, there was a study um, done by Cult Beauty customers. Actually, 23,000 Cult Beauty customers um, said that they found that half of um, their understanding of the information shared by, a cus by cosmetic companies, beauty salons, hairdressers, was unclear about um, its commitment to the environment. So consumers are concerned, um, as am I, as I'm sure everybody listening, what we can do for the planet really. Um, and sustainability has of course become the, the word everybody's using um, to kind of try and understand how to save this planet, I guess. And what do you think are the most common misconceptions about sustainability within the beauty industry? Well, I think the word greenwashing is probably the biggest um, problem we are all facing. And we all have um, a responsibility to play in that role because we all like to feel like we're doing good. Um, I don't know about you, but I'm emptying out my, my moisturizer jar and then rinsing it and then recycling it and really trying to do my best. But, you know, I think understanding what greenwashing really is, is probably one of the biggest mis misconceptions. And I have a quote here from Jane Sterland, who is the chair of the British Beauty Council Sustainable Beauty Coalition. And she says, to make people believe that your company is doing more to protect the environment than it really is. This is what greenwashing really is. And um, there's no harmonized criteria about how we define what is, what is clean, what is green, what is sustainable. And that's really the problem, is we haven't got some standardized terms. However, I just wanted to let your audience know that in um, September of last year, the government and um, the CMA launched something called the Green Claims Code. And this is trying to um, solve some of the, I suppose, misconceptions around what sustainability is. Um, and the British Beauty Council Sustainable Beauty Coalition launched the Planet Positive Beauty Guide. I highly recommend your audience to go and have a look at that because it helps to demystify some of this terminology. And for those who own their own beauty salon or beauty business who are looking to begin their journey to become more sustainable, where is the best place to begin? Well, there are so many things going on at the minute. Um, let me talk about, um, firstly, the plastic tax that's coming in April. Let's be very aware of that. I know you've reported on that as well in Beauty News. But there are lots of things we can do. I would say a mantra is definitely reduce, reuse, and recycle. That is really, I think, the key mantra we should all be saying. We should also be reaching out to different companies. You know, there are lots of different things we can be doing. We can go to have a look at um, the British Plastics Federation. They've got some fantastic initiatives. We've got organizations like RAP, that's W-R-A-P UK, and um, their organizations like Pericycle, um, the Plastic Fund, lots of different things. And we could look at what's happening in our retail stores, Boots, Sainsbury's, lots of different stores are now doing um, take back schemes. So have a look at getting involved in that. If you're a beauty salon or hairdressing salon, why don't you check out the Green Salon Collective? And um, we're having them coming and speaking at the Natural and Organic Show. So I definitely check out the Green Salon Collective. If you're looking for an organization to help you in salon. Great. And you're um, organizing the Organic and Natural Stage at PB London, which is new this year. Can you give us a bit of a sneak peek at some must watch sessions? So I'm calling this um, stage How on Earth? Why a move to a 
planet positive mindset is good for you, your business and your clients? Because I think we really need to figure this out for all of us, really. I don't want to be um, scaremongering here, but it is code red. And we do need to be addressing um, some serious issues here. So first up, I've got a fabulous session on Sunday at 11 a.m. I've got how on earth can a sustainable strategy increase client numbers? And headlining this session is the lovely Lucy Briley, the Sustainable Spa Association. Um, and she's bringing in some fabulous speakers who are um, actually global spa operators. So I think that's going to be a really exciting session. We've got Margot Moran of The Organic Pharmacy coming up next. And she's going to be talking about natural and organic products. And, you know, with a company called The Organic Pharmacy, which has been going for over 20 years, I think Margot is perfectly picked for this session. We've got some fabulous sessions coming up. We're ending the day um, on Sunday with reducing waste and educating the consumer on how we all make the eco-conscious and financially sustainable. I think we might have just um, lost Kaz here. Um, I'm not sure if it's to everyone or just to me, but hopefully she'll come back to us. one to listen to. Great, thank you so much Nancy for giving us a bit of a sneak peek of what's coming up on the stage. We're really looking forward to having this new element at PB London. Hopefully it'll be really informative for anyone looking to take the step to talk, uh, towards becoming a bit more sustainable in their own salon. Um, if you'd like to register for PB London, which is on April 3rd and 4th at Excel, registrations are now open. You can head to our website to register for free, and from there you can book onto the sessions at the Organic and Natural stage if any of the sessions that Kirsten mentioned is of interest to you. I think that'll be a great way to start your journey towards sustainability. And thank you so much, Kirsten, for joining us. Thank you. I'm sorry there's been some technical issues. I don't know if it's on my end or your end, um, but I hope that everybody got it. And I'm sure we'll drop some of the content in our Insta feeds. So um, I'll share everything I've reiterated. So thanks, everyone, for catching us live. Thank you. And if you head to our website, we've also got the full program for um, the full program for the two days will be available on our website as well so if you want to go and see what the talks are in more detail you can go there and have a look and don't forget to register for PC London thank you so much Kirsty cheers bye